All right, while well, I'm over here cutting up wood, I'm on this side of the fence, and I'm cutting them up just small enough so that I can throw them over. And the wife is picking them up with the tractor and dropping them over there next to that big log, which I don't know if you can see it or not, over there. So uh, she's running back and forth, and I'm cutting up. So I got that one to cut. Cut that in half. I ripped that out. I think I told you I was going to do that. Uh, I'm going to cut up some of the small stuff just to clear it up. And then I'm going to yank that one down up there. That one up there. And that one over there. Uh, but I'm going to get some of the small stuff cut up first. Uh, she didn't tie it right around the tractor. So we'll see what happens. And I got it tied to a bunch of logs, so I usually keep it over the bucket because with it being over the bucket, if the low, if the line snaps, it won't uh, come back and hit you in the head because the bucket will stop it. All right, now we're gonna bring down the other ones, hopefully. The wife is pretty good at tying things on the tractor, but she's not too good on understanding on how we're doing things. So, there we go. Now she keeps going. We should be okay. Come on, keep going, babe. Go ahead, just keep going. It'll all let loose in a minute. That's all right. Keep going. There we go. Keep going. There we go. Nothing that the little JD can't handle. Now I hope she's watching me. Okay, so she understood that hand signal. So she should be coming forward now if she understood it completely. And there she goes. Now I got enough of it here for me to cut that up. And then I can get that one down. And that one right there down. That one down. And uh, we're kind of done for now. Uh, now. There's another one up there I may grab. But other than that, we'll see how it work out. Alright. I don't know if you can notice it or not. But the hill looks a lot cleaner. Now if I can kind of get this without the sun shining in my face. Uh, gotta go through some of this here. I gotta trim all this crap down. Stuff is, is like getting out of control. That's an old tree that I cut that's decided to regrow. Now I don't mind if it wants to do some growing. However, I don't want all this shit getting in my face, so I'm gonna trim all this off. But uh, if you can, well, let me get by it so I don't get poked in the eye with these branches. Oh, jeez. Okay. Anyway, as you can see, it's a lot cleaner over here now. So tomorrow, I'm going to work on getting that one down up there. That one cut up. That down and cut up. There's a few pieces over there on the ground that you may not be seeing. Uh, that one's going to get ripped down and cut up. And there's another one right there that's going to get ripped down and cut up. So, we're basically done. I ripped that out like I told you I was going to do. And then I'll just look around to see if there's any little, you know, four inch or so, like that piece over there. I don't know if you can see it in the woods or not, but right there is a piece. You know, stuff that I can use to kind of start a fire. Um, we still have all this over here that I'm going to cut up and uh, use this. So that's good burn. I don't have to split it. And then some of it's a good starter, you know, just to get this fire started. So... And these damn pricker bushes. I gotta do something about those too, because they get in my way, they keep sticking to my clothes. Yeah, I tell you, the trials and tribulations of trying to cut some wood. <laughs> so, but anyway, that's where we're at. So there's just that one big one up there that's connected to that root system. And again, I don't know if you can tell just how big that root system is, but that's a big root system. That's gotta be. Uh, on the longest part maybe uh, 15 feet and from top to bottom 
12, 14 feet. It's a big system, it really is. It's got a way, I'd say close to three ton. I mean, there's a lot there. So that little tractor would never, if I wanted to tie on up there to that, around there someplace, and tie it around a tree up there to hold it so I can cut this bigger piece off, the tractor would never hold that. I can never move that. Now, once it hits the ground, I'll be able to pull it with the tractor. But other than that, the tractor wouldn't hold it if it wanted to come down. So, anyway, that's where we're at. So it's pretty well cleaned up. And uh, by this weekend, this will be done. We'll be stacked. And it'll all be over there. And I can relax on wood for the rest of the winter. So, anyway, I came over here to get the tower. And then once we get this cleaned up, I got to get the trailer back over here. If we keep that along the fence this way, that trailer we keep there. And then I got to get those batteries stacked up someplace so we're not tripping over those for the winter. I'm going to take them to the scrap yard. It's just that, you know, I got to wait until I get more brass so I can take the brass with me as well. I mean, just run down there with a few batteries. You know, to pick up a hundred bucks, it isn't worth it. So, uh, I take some brass with me and I'll be all set. So anyway, let me get the rest of this tower over there and see what I can come up with, some kind of a plan.